just want to share with y'all on this morning, amen, those of you that may be live, and even those the ones that may watch the re listen to the replay, amen, I'm so used to doing video, amen, I got to get back into doing radio, amen, I pray that y'all are blessed on this morning, I am Prophet Eric, aka E-Double, amen. So I just wanted to share with you I, I titled um, this broadcast on this morning as Proud Christian. And I just want to talk and chat with you for a moment on this morning about what I mean by being a proud Christian. You know, and sometimes, <laughs> you know, as, as you know, as believers today. Amen. In the world that has progressed and evolved in so many different things, um, and even on that note, I, I'm, I'm glad that God doesn't need to evolve. <laughs> oh, that's good right there. I'm glad that that God, glory to God, is the same now. And forevermore. I'm, I'm glad God is not like man. Now, aren't you glad on this morning that God is not like man? Aren't you glad that, that God never changes? That Aren't you glad that God does not have to progress with the world? and has to, he, he does not have to evolve. <laughs> God, God does not have to learn. He knows it all. Amen. He doesn't have to wait to a certain time and to see something because you know he orchestrates it all amen and so I, I love God on this morning I'm a proud Christian amen and I know in this world uh, that, that has evolved amen in technology and knowledge and you know understanding of, of, of different terms and terminology and um, you know we have evolved so much that we have become a people who play on words, a people who uh, uh, create mindsets based off of definitions of words, and they create mindsets, amen, to have us to believe one thing, Lord to God, when it's really not that, that, you know, it, it really is not that, amen, and so there's, a, um, there's always two in 10 miles, take exit 138 to merge onto US 64 toward Rocky Mount. There's different ways, Lord to God, and man to do something. Or, or it's always a few different stories to every, you know, size to every story. And so uh, I, I'm a proud Christian, and I know today saying that we're a Christian, Lord to God, will we'll, we'll, we'll rub some people the wrong way. Amen. And I understand, um, 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 I, 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 I can I have a, a a resemblance of understanding of why a Muslim will be offended by me saying I'm a proud Christian. Hey Amen. I got a small understanding of you know if a Buddhist, Lord to God, I I, I, I can understand him getting offended by me calling myself a Christian. I can understand you know uh, 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 um, someone who practices Hinduism or you know, um, different religions in this world. I can understand, amen, if those religions um, um, are offended by Christianity or being a Christian. No, but what I'm not understanding is how can our own brothers and sisters that claim to be followers of Jesus Christ, amen, how can that, how can me calling myself a Christian offend you? Or how can I be in error? How can I be in, uh, now, now there's a difference sometimes in error and, and, and um, when you're talking about salvation, amen, when you're talking about identity, there could be no error in salvation or identity. Salvation gives us identity. And so, being a believer, the Bible says, once you believe on Christ and what he has done for us when he died on the cross for our 
sins. He, he, he became sin for us that we might be righteous. And so on this topic of, of, of salvation and identity, it can be no mistakes. It can be no if ands, or it can it can't be shaky. And in today's Christian world, you have you have a, 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 a people who name the name of Christ, who but who say that it's demonic to call yourself a Christian. Have you ran across those ones, Amen? That say, well, "I'm a follower of Christ. Uh, I'm not a Christian. Christian is religious." Not understanding that you have been caught up in wordplay. Not understanding that you are condemning people just based off a of definition of words. But we have been birthed and bred on in a language, English language, and we know this from from day one in school, from 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 the beginning of us um, um, learning. Um, words and definitions and, and vocabulary we, we understand that it's many words that have many meanings so with that being said when you have a word that has multiple meanings then that means you have a word a man that can be used in most, multiple instances so if I can use this word in two different sentences, I can condemn one sentence, amen, to say that word don't mean that in that sense, or, 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 you know, that's the evil side of that word. So if I use that word, amen, it's automatically the side that, that your mind says is evil. What am I saying? The Hebrew nation or the Hebrew Israelites tell us that, you know, it's pagan or it's of, of the enemy, of the devil to call yourself a Christian. Because the Bible, uh, um, um, when the Bible says that, that, that they was called Christians in Antioch, I believe, um, um, it was a way of um, the people mocking a man those who have followed Christ with that being said let's look at the word Christian I, ha I don't have any um, information in front of me hey man I'm just I'm just you know we just we just chatting this morning but um the word Christian hey man by definition means Christ like you know it means Christ like I mean you follow Christ or whatever but there is a, a, a religious there's a religious mindset that's in a lot of Christians and so that's a lot of Christians that are that are super religious now even the word religious amen uh, uh, um, even sounding out that word, amen, people going to all automatically think religious is a negative word. I'm not religious. I'm just, you know, I got a relationship with God. I'm not religious. But not understanding that the Bible talks two about... Two miles. Take exit 138 there to merge onto US 64 toward Rocky Mount. Undefiled before God. And so there is a pure religion. The word Christian means a Christ follower. But those words can be used in negative tones. The word Christian can mean of one of those super religious folks. They're almost superstitious in a, in, a, in a sense. It's almost like uh, uh, um, the superstitious folks became followers of Christ, but they didn't put away their superstition. Are y'all with me this morning? 
They didn't put away their superstition. So therefore, uh, 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 um, they are followers of Christ, but also followers of their soul or their flesh or their uh, um, their own selves. Amen. Because superstition would just, use the right lane uh, uh, to take uh, exit one thirty eight to merge responses. onto US sixty four toward Rocky Mount. Amen. That occurred in people that they basically put on others. Amen.